Okay, so a bit of an update since you last saw the video of the uh, of the cows grazing out in November. Well, we've now got them great uh, in at night time, uh, eating silage on the clamp, and uh, they're going to be coming inside today. Uh, today's the last day they're going to be out on any grass. I've been trying to keep them out as long as I can because we just really haven't got enough silage, I think, in the clamp, but. There's a point where it gets too wet and they don't like eating the grass. So I'm just going to call them along through this field we call Collier's Lease. Because all our fields have got names. Um, so they'll be out here today. There's a patchy little bit of grass for them to eat. Uh, they'll probably only be out for an hour or two and then they'll start wandering back to the farm. Um, come on in. Come on. You can probably just see they'll start coming. They know where they're going. Um, so... It will be the start of winter properly for us today uh, when they come back. Oh, I shut that gate for the last time. Not a great time, I must admit, this time of year I feel a bit a bit down really because I know what's ahead, a long slog for winter. Um, but we'll have a look at the clamp in a minute. When I, well, later on, when I've uh, just got time to go back and sort it out. But you, let me just have a look here. You can see how wet it's getting, a lot of rain. But there isn't really, the grass has got no goodness in it. And uh, there isn't really anything growing now, so we just, come on in. Come on, come on in. Come on, come on. So they're coming through. Uh, they will go down there for an, uh, two or three hours, I think. You can just see the traffic behind me, it's rush hour, everyone's going to work. Um, the other thing as well, it's not great them lying on wet, mucky pasture. We don't want them out. Um, on the ground forever. Come on. The funny thing is, you, you get all this stuff about um, people saying, oh, it's cruel keeping cows inside, but in the winter time, they want to be inside. I can tell you that now. They want to be out in the spring, but they don't want to be out in the winter. And they'll be back by the gate within a couple of hours, I'm sure. And there we go. Early morning sunrise. Oh, that's bright sun. Right, anyway, I'm going to get back to the farm. I've got so many jobs to do. We've got calves coming out of our ears. Look at them. They're running down there. Look at them. They know where they're going. A bit of grass down the bottom. Crikey, they're really belting down. Anyway, right, I'm off. Let's have a look at the silage in a minute. Okay, so we can have a look at the clamp now. I've got it open here, as you can see. Um, they've already eaten back a fair amount, really. Uh, it was to the front, we took the sheet off. Um, anyway, let's have a quick look. Before we look at this, let's have a quick look at it being put in here. Okay, so that was back in May. We've now got the silage here. Quite nice, quite nice smelling silage. Anyone knows the silage smell? It's quite pungent. Um, I have to look up the dry matter content, but it's not too bad. It was a bit dry on the front, and did was a bit of mould on the front. You can hear the liquid in it. Um, but it's it's actually okay um, for feeding. In fact, I like it like that. A bit wet. Uh, there was a bit of rot in the middle. As you can see, a bit of secondary fermentation on the top there, which I don't really like. That's got to be chucked off. The cows won't eat that. But other than that, it's quite a good clamp. My biggest worry is whether we've got enough. Um, you can see where those bales are. Normally those bales are touching the top of that concrete. And they're actually at least a bale depth below it. So that means all the way through, there's less silage than I'd like. Um, but we'll see how we go with this. The cows will be in on this from today and uh, hopefully we'll have enough to go. Here we go, well we made it till quarter to 12 and they've all started to come back, look. So there's a few stragglers at the front. 
but the rest are all coming behind. I can see, if you look along there, look, they're just starting to walk back. So I can open the gate and let them in. Make sure they go running in on that silage. Come on. Seems a shame because it's a nice day. I thought they might stay a little bit longer. Uh, but that's it now. They had the last bit of grass in that field, so they're going to be in now for the winter, which is, as I said, doesn't make me feel great. Any of you, um, quite interesting, any of you dairy farmers watching this, I know I know some people who, who watch this are either farmers or ex-farmers, they know what's going to happen in winter, they know how it feels. It is a long slog on a dairy farm. A long slog for all of us, actually, not just farming, so... Uh, Anyway, here we go. And yeah, I see I've, since I fought, I forked a bit down in front of this, this is the rotten stuff I got out, look. I'm, I'm slightly surprised that this bit in the middle is continually bad. I don't know what's caused that. I mean, maybe a bit of contamination or something, just that section, all the way along is all right. It's just that bit in the middle. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of the way.